Welcome to today's edition of You Are Home. We are at the Entrepreneurial Women's Expo here in State College, where there are many different women, business owners, and entrepreneurs. It's going to be a fun-filled day of inspiration and workshops. So in honor of today's event, EWE, today's episode is You Are Home. So come along with me as we check out what's happening. This is the third annual EWE. Entrepreneur Jessica Dolan of Room to Breathe created EWE in 2009. She created this event so that women from all over central Pennsylvania could benefit from a day of visionary leadership and collaboration. And throughout the day, there are many giveaways. Each expo, which is held annually and for women only, brings together an extraordinary cast of speakers who are leaders in their fields of business. Bought me these! <laughs> now what hat or shoe am I wearing? You fill in the blank. You, every one of those business cards like a thousand dollar bill. Somebody's the number one restaurant chain worldwide. Worldwide, that's crazy. Over 35,000 restaurants are, are, well, our world. So how did they do it? marketing and they're my employer it will show up on my company page you can put in products and services you can put in pictures that you <laughs> this has been such an amazing day and I am just soaking in all these faces that I finally get to see all at once <laughs> the big thing that I took away from the session with Gretchen and Dana was to really identify the why as to why you do your business. Um, I got, I was reminded that uh, we have to take ourselves seriously first and commit to ourselves first and not uh, wait for someone else to affirm us and to approve what we're doing. But if we commit to ourselves and really revere what we're doing, um, we can come from a position of strength and not fear and pursue our passions. Taking the positive energy and inspiration from today and translating it into actual action. I thought the best part about it was that it took this giant world of internet marketing, Facebook, Twitter, all kinds of social media, and consolidated it down into a very simple to understand, easily identified way to market your business, with yourself, connect with friends. Well, there are so many things, but the most beneficial thing I found was just discovering the wealth and plethora of women-owned businesses that there are here in the area, and what the wonderful resources that women make available to one another and other people. Hi, Judy. For those who would be thinking possibly of attending EWE next year, but didn't get an opportunity to attend this year, what advice might you give them? Um, I would really encourage them to come next year and come with an open heart and open mind and meet as many people as they can and really get to know the wonderful women that attend this event. Um, it's exciting, it's inspirational, and if you let it be, it can really change the direction your business is going in a very positive direction. You're good. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed today's EWE, the Entrepreneurial Women's Expo. We met a lot of women. We Network, we were inspired, and we really had a great day. So, thanks for coming along with me. And don't forget to suggest our page to your friends and our YouTube channel, and we'll see you here next week on You Are Home.